So, welcome everybody. Now you're on camera, you can smile. Before we start, as you know, maybe, I have started a, something like a newsletter on my website. So every week on Thursday, I explain and cover a grammar tip. Like today, as of this week, it's about future plans. Last week, it was a pause and didn't need to and didn't have done. And actually, I will send a link in case you can take a look at it. This one, make sure to check it out to see every week I will talk about one grammar tip. Not a topic, but some tips. But let me start sharing my screen. Please let me know if you can see it. Does it work? Is it working properly? Hello, oh, hello, Price, how are you? How are you doing? We can see, perfect. It works, perfect. From, oh, the Netherlands, nice. The link worked properly. Oh, thank you, thank you. Actually, I was talking about my share screen, but thanks. Hello. Okay, let's begin. So, maybe uh, I'll tell you actually during the class. Love, okay, thank you, Faisal. So, comparatives and superlatives. It is an intermediate grammar topic, so all of you can learn it, and at the end, you will be able to use it. So, before we start, I want to remind you, because most of you are new, the more you interact, the more actually you type, you interact with our class and other classes, the more you will learn. If you just sit there and listen to me or watch me, you will learn nothing. So, you have to use it even that's wrong it's okay just send the answers and try to interact and be active so let me start with this question so we know the topic is comparative and superlative but what are comparatives who can tell me about it what are comparatives this is my first question i'm going to ask you lots of questions today so get ready you're going to type it Going to type a lot. When you compare things, okay, thank you, Karina, or people, uh huh. So it's not just for people, is it? More, O H M. Oh, I think we use a symbol in physics, but comparing two or more, uh, more than two, okay, thank you. Differentiating one thing with another, cool. Word used to compare other words. Words used to compare. Okay, I can understand you. Words that are used to compare. Okay, so for example, please answer me. Please let me know if I'm if I'm wrong or if I'm correct. So here, for example, we have a class of twenty students. Hmm. So if I say if I say for example, one student like Jack is like he is very good at math, but others are not good at math. Can I say that is comparative? Like one person is good at math, but others, no, they're not good at it. Can I say that is, uh -huh, something like this is the best. So can I say this is an example of comparative? I'm talking about mocks uh, sentence. Please let me know. I don't think so. Okay, Bryce, use better. No, because you don't have the word then. Okay, but you, you, you told me. When we compare it, so like, okay, I'm comparing saying Max or I don't know, Jack is like he's good at math, but others are not. Can I say this is a comparison? This is comparative? Is it okay to say that? For example, Ellie, Ellie infected, uh huh, lots of us. So he says, or she says, no. I think it's okay. Uh huh. Okay, what about others? Several people, I love that. So make sure you are interacting, make sure you, uh, it's comparing, but not exactly according to the grammatical patterns of superlatives and comparatives. Okay, thank you, Chanel. Others are typing too, let's wait for them. Then we will answer, answer it. It's okay, but there's no comparator. Okay, okay, I think we are missing then. Mm-hmm, uh-huh. So, thank you. Let me, okay, let's talk about it. First, 
let's read it. Comparatives are adjectives or adverbs, not just adjectives, sometimes adverbs. Expressing, let me highlight it, expressing a higher degree of equality or characteristic. For example, bigger or more quickly. But when we say comparative, it means there are, for example, I don't know, two people or two things or some that you want to compare them. So you say he is better than this one or this one is better, faster, I don't know, bigger, smaller, something like that. So technically, I'm saying that one side of a comparison, I'm talking about good points, bad points with another side, okay? And none of them are alone. I mean, not like, for example, one person here, a group here. Hmm? I'm not doing this. I'm doing something like this, two people, two things, three things, something like that. So we call it comparative. Most of you answer it correctly. Uh, 60 minutes or 50, 60, but no uh, longer than 60. So that was, that is actually the definition of comparatives. But, okay, okay, we understood that comparatives or adjectives or adverbs expressing a higher degree of equality or characteristic. Okay, I got it. But why do we use comparatives? Can anyone tell me? I know the definition. I know what it is, but I don't know why I should use it. Please tell me why this is a question. Several people are typing, that's good. So we can measure the differences between things. Thank you, Limbo. A measuring feature, uh-huh, thank you. Doesn't, ah, uh, I said we want to show differences. To know who is more quality than the other, uh-huh, to find an option. Okay, okay, yeah. Measuring more quality, yeah, thank you, thank you. So comparatives, let's see, comparatives, are used, let me use my highlighter, comparative are used to compare, as we can see, comparative, compare, two things and express which one has a higher degree of equality or characteristic, the same there. In other words, okay, so maybe some of you say, okay, I don't understand, what do you mean? Higher degree of equality or characteristic. Okay, in other words, or i.e., we use comparatives when we want to compare something or someone with something or something. Something or someone. For example, you want to compare Jack with Alex. You want to compare, I don't know, Toyota with Mercedes. You want to compare, if you are into football, like Real Madrid and Barcelona. For example, you want to compare things. You want to compare, I don't know, game with movies and something like that. To get a reference, aha, uh -huh, comparative for differentiating between two things, but... Uh, okay, we will get to superlatives. To show higher, uh huh, it's like. Okay, thank you. Okay, do you know how many types of comparatives we have in English? Do you know? Do you have any ideas? What does it mean? Three types. Okay, okay, two, three, two, three, three. Okay, I think two. Okay, but, okay, okay, I know two, uh-huh, but you said three, some of you said three, some of you said two, but, okay, what are they? What are these two or three types that you have just written? Uh-huh, more ER, I know two, than an AS, ah, uh, you mean as? Uh, no, not this one, ER and more, okay, better than as more, so just like four. You said three, but it's good, thank you. Than, so can we say than is a type? Hmm? Can we say we have than as a type of comparatives? Is it is it logical, is it okay to say that, is it rational? Like just the word than is a type? Some verbs, I just prefer okay, mm-hmm, could be, orca, thank you. Wizen, I am legendary I think and others that's good I like the activity here 
and chowy limbo others like uh-huh my you mean uh like what are you mean like okay yes that is used for short term oh, uh-huh uh-huh so let's see mono syllable adjectives multi syllable adjectives and irregular adjectives mostly what you said some of you said for example more and like er yes typically but they have their own names mono you know syllable for example i don't know say beautiful is multisyllable or no big is one syllable or one means mono actually so mono equals one so monosyllable means only one has only one adject uh, one syllable but multi means like more than one and irregular means there are no rules for that like we have irregular verbs like teach taught for example something like that but first over i uh, know so and if you have any questions you know you can just type it down i will answer it anytime okay comparatives monosyllable adjectives okay now maybe you're saying all right i understood what it is i understood why we use it i understood how many types we have but how can i use the first type we will see monosyllable adjectives have only one syllable one for example hot big ugly fast cold small short tall you cannot pronounce it in other ways there's only one way to pronounce but for example i don't know leadership or computer you can pronounce it in different way you can say computer 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 or i don't know leadership 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 so you can actually change even though they are not correct i mean we cannot pronounce computer like computer no but we can try other syllables of syllables of that word what about well, well, hot how can you say hot just hot you cannot say any other ways you cannot find any other way so we call it mono means one syllable like hot like big like ugly small short okay can you can you write more can you write some monosyllable adjectives new tall good well when do we when do we could use within uh, we will talk within is not actually a part of this within is like inside for example within the ministry within the school it's it's been like something inside and everything does comparative always has to be adjectives uh -huh. at, at the beginning we said limbo adjectives and adverbs we will talk limbo adjective adjectives and adverbs no it's not the subject of the vocal but yeah i told you tall new young fast fatter so fat we'll say fat short old fit uh, tall with double l fit cool uh-huh white okay okay thank you thank you but let's answer uh, the question our friend limbo asked so can we just use comparatives just for adjectives just for adjectives yes or no send it yes or no no uh-huh limbo answered himself no uh adverbs too adverbs so we say no adverbs too so okay now i have another question you answered my question i have a new one so when do we use comparatives for adjectives and when do we use comparatives for adverbs i mean what is an adverb and what is an adjective i mean okay i don't know can you can you for example tell me what is an adverb what does it do can we even use it in comparatives adverb adding quality with the action i don't have idea about the part of a speech okay thank you franken it's okay comparative adverb is used to compare two different verb actions aha uh -huh, thank you uh vax adverb to be explained a time a time uh-huh so just a time i mean we have adverbs just for time what about place what about the quality when describing the action we use the adverb exactly so when we are talking about the noun for example car we can use some adjectives for example a big 
car, a red car. So it defines or modifies the, the noun, the noun we have. But when you say, for example, quickly or I don't know, beautifully, something like that, we are talking about the action. Hmm? Like, for example, you drive quickly, you run quickly, or you drive fast. It's, I'm talking about how you drive, the quality of your... To be honest, I don't know uh, the true meaning for adjectives. So I, I, I've just said, ciao. Adjectives for nouns, adverbs for verbs. Is a modifier of... Adverb is a modifier of, a, of, a, of an adjective, okay? An adjective is a word that describes a noun, while adverb is used to describe verbs. Yeah, perfect. Chunk. So, your answer, uh, Limbo. Yes, we, we can use adverbs too. So, in order to use, here, in order to use comparative with monosyllable adjectives, we add the suffix er in general. Generally, we add er. But how? For example, so can you tell me about ugly? How can I add er to ugly? Can I write it like this? Uglier? For example, I don't know. For example, that car is uglier like this. Is it okay? Uh huh. Use ies for why. No, it's uglier. Uh huh. You mean that one? Uh huh. Okay. So we have some rules. It's okay. We have some rules for that. What about, for example, hot? Can I say hotter? I don't know. This, for example, this glass of tea is hotter than the other one. Is it okay? Uh huh. Double T. Okay. Okay. Why double T? I have a question. Why double T? No, I just use a criteria for noun. Adjective. No, 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 no. No. Adjective means suffix. No. Suffix is like we add something to the end of the word. For example, relation relationship or for example work worker something like that or translate translation we, we change we add something or for example we have ish it means around for example the a brownish coat because of the vowel I think because of the vowel letter aha uh -huh. if the word only has one syllable you should double the last consonant okay the, the last consonant letter okay so what about this okay based on your uh, fact here, fast. Should I say like this? Faster? It's monosyllable. I want to add, you said double the last consonant. But your friend, Chong, said double it. I have a question about ish. Ah, uh, ish, uh, okay, let me say it here. Ish, it has some meanings. One of them is like about nationality, like Spain, Spanish, Ireland, Irish, England, English. But another meaning of ish is around. For example, we are going to meet each other, Limbo. I said, okay, Limbo, I'll see you at two-ish. I'll see you at two-ish. It means around two, maybe two, two, for example, and five minutes after it, five minutes before it. It's like around two, not exactly, not sharp. Two sharp means exactly two, oh, oh. But Ish means like, or for example, the color for color, like, I don't know, I'm wearing, for example, uh, my profile picture, I'm wearing a brownish jacket, brownish, even like, for example, light brown, dark brown, something between it. So, uh -huh, father, so, uh -huh. okay, now let's see. Well, thank you for your answers. Monosyllable is spelling rules. Okay, we have some spelling rules. If... So first, you know that we, we just talk about a spelling rule for written English. If you are speaking, now I'm speaking uglier, faster, hotter. That doesn't matter how. I mean, we don't have a spelling rule when we are speaking. We just have it when we are writing something. So if the adjective ends in a consonant, vowel, consonant. I have another question. What is... A consonant. What is a consonant? Not a vowel. So okay, so let me ask you in this one. What is a vowel? No vocal, no no no. Vowel. 
or vocal. I uh, understand what you mean. Uh -huh. A E I O U. Okay, very good. So we can say like that. If if you don't, I mean, you get it. But if in case you don't get it, you can say consonant. You can show it with like a square, and vowel with a triangle. So this is a very famous pattern in English. This pattern: square, triangle, square, like consonant, vowel, consonant. A very famous pattern in English that you can use and it's very practical for different topics or different situations. Try to memorize this pattern. So if you have a monosyllable adjective and you want to add ER to it, you want to make it comparative, you just double the final consonant. Big, so the G. Bigger, hot, hotter. And in pronunciation, we actually we emphasize a bit on G, like bigger, hotter, better, thinner, for this one. If the adjective ends in a consonant plus Y, technically two consonants, or consonants plus Y, because Y is a consonant as well, you change Y to I. So for example, silly, I say, okay, silly, I change it so it becomes... Silly, now ER, sillier. Lucky, luckier. Happy, happier. Lazy, lazier. If the adjective ends in E, like large, so we, we don't say larger like this. Nope, you already have an E, so why would you like to bother yourself at the not of one? Just add an R. Large, larger. Brave, braver. Nice, nicer. But what if you have none of them? For example, long. There is no consonant plus vowel, no, no sign of that pattern, consonant, vowel, consonant, no E. Okay, then just add an ER to it. Long, longer, fast, faster, short, shorter. That's about mono syllable adjectives. But adjectives with more than one syllable are known as multi syllable adjectives. Let me see if you have any questions. Except vowels, uh huh, good. Vowels, uh huh, good. Fat, fatter, yes, F A T. Very good. Double T, we will add. So, uh huh, so I am legendary AK. So, can we say beautifuler? Like, she is beautifuler than, I don't know, someone. So, can we say she's beautifuler? Uh, Ricky, Ricky C says no, Karina no, others no, why, okay, why, why more, uh, him and Ricky, why should we use more, we've just said, we use ER, but means if you have vowels, we don't add them in set, they have some sets like, uh, okay, sound is strange, uh -huh. okay, that's the reason, good, because when we say beautiful, we need Beautiful, uh huh, okay. So long. So we don't we don't call it so long. We say it's it's a multi syllable adjective. A multi syllable adjective, also known as long. We can say that. So there is no sign of any rules here. We don't have any spelling rules. Just we add the determiner more before. Multisyllable adjective in general. Beautiful, uh, the same example. More beautiful. Expensive, more expensive. Intelligent, more intelligent. Important, more important, and so on. But I have a question. Uh, since you know more and ER, so actually one of my students asked me, can we say more bigger? It's like, can we say if we say more bigger, are we going to emphasize, oh wait, let me fix it. Are we emphasizing on that? Like, you know, do you know emphasis? Like, for example, you emphasize, like, very, really. Can I say more bigger is like emphasizing, like, very, 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 very bigger. Can we say more bigger? Yes, no, I think not. More essential. Because have more than two syllables. Ah, oh, the previous one. Biggest. Okay, yes. Yeah, we can say it. Okay, it's more bigger than blah blah blah. No, because bigger already is a comparative. Uh -huh. So, guys, you can't 
You cannot. Uh -huh. Much be. Oh, much. Yeah, we will talk about much. We can. Uh huh. So big. It's it's a monosyllable adjective. You cannot use er. Same to this part. You cannot say more beautiful or. No, we don't say. We don't have it. The same thing as we cannot say beautifuler, we cannot say more big. So you cannot combine two different spelling rules and you put them together like more bigger. No. But yes, as our friend said, we, you can say much bigger. We will talk about it. So for this one, we just use more. But uh, as you know, we have some irregular comparatives. Like irregular, like what? Like irregular verbs. For example, work, worked, I don't know. Uh, for example, wash, washed, but built, built. Or I don't know. For example, teach, taught, buy, bought. These are irregular. It means there are no rules. There are, there are nothing you can remember. For example, now you say, okay, big. So B I G, vowel, consonant, vowel. So I need to add another G because we have a vowel between two consonants. You have a rule. There is a rule. So you, you do based on that. But irregulars, no. There are no rules. And you just have to memorize it, as I, as I said here. You have to memorize. Do not follow the rules we've discussed so far. Like good. They don't say the gooder. Better. Bad. Worse. Far. Farther and further. Well. Better. Okay, now maybe you're asking yourself, so what's, what is the difference between farther and further? So who can say? Who can answer it? The difference between farther and further. Like, I mean, with A and U. Was it something like this? Uh-huh. Much beautiful. Uh, okay. Is it, I think, no? Uh, we can say, I think not, or I don't think so, or I think not. Good, better, the best. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Sorry if I miss anything, but I would know how it is like for friend. So we cannot use for friend. Friend is not an adjective. Uh, Dini or Demevelope. No, friend is a noun. You are my friend. We're talking about adjectives and adverbs, like good, bad, fast. I don't know, something like that. Tall. So, uh, farther like distance. Uh-huh. Further is ahead of some phrase, like furthermore. Exactly, very good. So for distance, we use farther. For anything which is not about distance, we use uh, uh, we use farther for distance, further for anything which is not actually about distance. And it means like like extinct or something. We say furthermore, or we'll discuss further. Something like later or something like that. Honestly, I have no idea. Okay. So that was about comparative but now we have another question what are superlatives okay we've discussed about comparatives now you have learned about comparatives very good but what are superlatives before going any further uh-huh okay most est est okay biggest tallest okay let's talk about the definition how do you explain for example there is, there is a child, there is a kid who wants to learn English and are, for example, he's asking you, can you please tell me what relatives are? You can't tell him biggest. You would understand nothing. So how do you define, how do you explain it in simple words? Uh-huh, the highest quality. Okay, we compare one thing with a group things. So relatives are concept to tell about the most. Uh-huh, thank you, Ricky, thank you. Maybe one others. Yeah, probably. A superlative adjective compares one thing, so one thing, or person, or place, whatever, to all the others in the same group. In other words, okay, I didn't understand. Can you say it in other words? Yes. We use superlative when we want to compare a thing, a person, among a group of them. For example, do you remember I said Jack is good at math? So I can say, so I'm, I'm actually comparing Jack to his, for example, students, other people in this, for example, class. So he is 
good at math. I'm comparing one with a group of other things in the same group. So, yes, about that. For example, you say Jack is the best student. For example, we use that. Uh huh. This is very important. Some students forget to use that. We use that before the adjective, and we add the suffix "-esc", in general. Again, we have some rules, but the rules are the same. So again, for monosyllable adjectives, if the adjective ends in consonant, vowel consonant, the same pattern. You double, like big. Again, you double it. But this time, you don't add er. You add est. Because that's superlative. Biggest. And you add the here. The biggest. For example, this car is the biggest car I've ever seen. The hottest, the wettest, and whatever. But if the adjective ends with a consonant plus y, again, dry or happy, for, again, silly, let me do it with silly. You say silly, this time you add est, silliest, and you add the here. For example, I don't know, what you have done was the silliest thing ever. For example, if the adjective ends in e, aha, uh -huh, I told you just add r for comparatives. Now, just, just uh, add just est for superlative, the largest, the nicest, the bravest, and so on. But, well, when you have none of them, like there is no sign of, for example, a, an adjective that ends in e, no y, no, for example, the pattern. Okay, what can we do? Well, simply just add est. Short, the shortest, tall, the tallest, the small, the smallest, and so on. So, let me see if you have any questions. Nothing can be more superior. Uh-huh. Fast, faster, fa the fastest. Again, the fastest. Jack is the best. Good. Hi. Hello, prettiest. Uh-huh. Listen, listen to class. Uh-huh. Good, good, good. Thank you. Long is longer or longest? No. Longer. Comparative. For example, my car is longer than your car. But... My car is the longest car in this country, for example. What about like color? Uh, no, colors, we cannot say the greeners. We cannot say the greeners, the greenest. No. Uh, for colors, we don't say, uh, but we can say, for example, uh, I hear it somewhere say my car, my, my car is more red than yours, but typically, the most green, we normally use uh, most or more, even though most of them are monosyllable, but we don't say, for example, red air. So, is more red, is the most red, something like that. The green air, actually, not dark, yeah, dark, yes, dark or light or yes, but like, for example, blue, for example. But multisyllable adjectives. When we have a multisyllable adjective and it doesn't end in y, we can form its corresponding by using most, the most, for example. So, beautiful, the most beautiful, the most wonderful, the most important, the most intelligent, and so on. Irregular. Irregular adjectives do not follow the rules we discussed so far. You have to memorize, just like irregular comparatives. Good the best, bad, the worst, well, the best, far, the farthest, the furthest, something like that. But we have some advanced tips, but before we move to our advanced tips, I want you in this class to make some examples about this topic. Make a sentence, it can be funny, it can be serious, it can be anything, doesn't matter. Just start writing about your own ideas and send it here so we can read it together to see if you got it correctly. So, 39 students, 39 examples. Let's go. With superlatives and or comparatives. And thank you, Shaina Yayo. Thank you very much. You're doing great. So. Uh, I'm pretty the most merciful, okay. Several people, that's good. There is a boy who is the craziest one here. Okay, that's good. Actually, that's a combination of 
uh, superlatives and relative clauses, but that's good. She's the most beautiful girl in the world. Red car is faster than... No, no, no. De. De red car is faster than the green one. Among my peers, I'm the most skilled in sports. It appears to be double E, but I'm the most skilled. Okay. Res this good afternoon. This dress is the best dress I've seen. Arthur Morgan is the smartest on the Vanderlyn gang. Okay, that's good price. That's good, yeah. Okay, thank you. Now we have some advanced tips for advanced students, but right now, maybe you are wondering how uh, we are the laziest, the laziest generation. Maybe you are wondering how you can get this PDF. Maybe you're asking yourself, can I get this PDF for free or like what? Yes, that's for free. You need to go to my website to download it for free. Let me send it. PDFs. Oh, wait. Also, also, every week on Thursday, I will cover a grammar topic, mostly some tips, not a whole topic, but some tips. Make sure to check it out. It, the, the, the name, actually, the name is Grammar of the Week. Okay? And you can see on the tabs there. Make sure to read it. it this week is about future plans. The, last week it was about didn't need to and needn't have done the differences and future plans for this one. So make sure to follow it like a newsletter. But some advanced tips for some advanced students. Then is a preposition that is used to introduce the second part of a comparison. Most of them are not that much advanced. But anyway, Jack is taller than David. David is shorter than Jack. This course is more expensive than the other one. The math exam was more difficult than the chemistry exam. So here, this course, instead of saying that the other course, we said one. Again here, the math exam uh, was more difficult than the chemistry one. Again, in order to avoid repetition. Uh-huh. Do you remember we said it's, it talks about the higher degree of a level of characteristic of quality or the highest what about it's the opposite, like less? We use it, in multi-syllable of course, to show a lower degree, not a higher, this time lower, the opposite of more. Ted is searching for a less demanding carrier. I'm looking for a less expensive laptop. I don't have that much money, I'm a student. I'm looking for a less expensive laptop. Or the least, mostly the least, is again, again, the lowest, not the highest, the lowest level. Opposite of the most. He is my, for example, least favorite person. This car is the least expensive one in this catalog or something like that. Ah, uh -huh, for surgery, okay. Expect, ex actually, exceptions. Sometimes we have some exceptions. Like the word shy. Hmm? Maybe you're asking yourself, okay, so shy, we remove Y, we add I-E-R or I-E-S-T, like, I'm sh he's shyer than me. No. We use shy with E-R. While it's expected to be shyer like that, but no. We have some exception because mostly uh, there are only two consonants before it, so we, we don't normally change it. So shyer like this. We use more before adverbs to make them comparatives. For example, he speaks. We don't say fluent here. No. Fluent here? No. Fluently here? No. Fluently here? No. He speaks more fluently than I do. He, expe he, he speaks, for example, I don't know, more quickly than I do. Or something like that. I mean, if they are multisyllable. Like fluently is multi. And we use the most... She sings the most beautifully out of all the contestants. Contest means like a match. Contestants, people who participate in a match, like a singer, other singers. And now we have some examples, like this coffee is hotter and how many, I think like 40. Yeah, 40 examples. The last 10 ones are advanced. 
more advanced if you want to get this go to my website and download this for free and also the video actually I've been recording this class so for tomorrow probably you can see this video you can see yourself technically and camera tomorrow on my YouTube channel but now I'm going to send some exercises to do it together I have in superlative or comparative Shire, uh -huh. is it wrong? She's older than he is. No, 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 it's okay. Okay, he is. We can say he, she is older than him or she, he is older than he is. For example, he, he speaks more fluently than I do, as I said, or than me. You can say either me or he is, not he. he she is older than he is. What about much? Uh, when we use much, we are actually saying very. Instead of saying very bigger, we don't say very bigger, we say much bigger. It means very, very. Or, I don't know, for example, much more beautiful, much more expensive. It means very expensive. Hey, you don't need to remember the exceptions. Just to speak English, however, remember very, very, you use. Yes, yes. Uh, Exception is not some is actually for example just one of them we had here and it's something you will learn if you use it sometime you will see and it will be it'll become something easy for you. So it's not a big deal. Always I am right always I write more before adverbs. If they are multisyllable, yes, like fluently. No, very hot, no, uh, I am legendary. Very hot is not superlative. Hot is an adjective. Very hot, yes. But can we say very hotter? No, much hotter is, is better. He is taller than me. Yes, he is taller than I am is also correct. He is taller than I am is also correct. But he is taller than I. No, no, no. You're having troubles. Why? Wait. Please check this, englishwithnewoffer.com. Uh, no, no, not VPN. Some countries are banned by WordPress, not me. By WordPress, some countries, mostly Asian countries. And you need a VPN for that. But technically, I'm using my internet and without VPN, and it's working properly. It works for me. Uh, it is work. No, it works for me, uh, Karina. It's working here. Wahaha. Okay. Perfect. Now let me send you. Uh, let me see. English with new word dot com took to. I don't know. Uh, check. Maybe you should. Maybe you need VPNs, proxy or something like that. Or others. Uh, use one 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 one. But let me send you some. Let's go. Actually, I got these examples from. What is the website? PerfectEnglishGrammar.com. You can check it. You can check it out here perfectenglish.com it's really it is really a good website so you can check it out so dogs are then rabbits let's do it together please send your answers dogs are what using intelligent dogs are more intelligent than rabbits thank you very much wax let's go with two lucy is than ellie using old lucy is older can you type yeah in english with that's wait that's the link english with name of her.com lucy is a smart oh so wait oh no no one by one please uh lucy is older okay russia is far and also we can use far, it's like very, we have some, actually we can have some of them to use, we're not going to open it here, but just know that. So Lucy, oh no, no, Russia, Russia is far something than the UK, far larger, so everyone, let's, let's interact. My Latin class, who is from Latin America, here we have you. Uh, my Latin class is something 
than my English class. So, it is more boring. Uh -huh, it's more boring. Russia is far more. Yeah, you can say more too, larger. Yes, other things. London, uh, color for, let's take these two. Let's go. My garden is a lot. His house is a bit than a hotel. I, no, exceptional. Why exceptional? It's more boring. Boring is an adjective. It's boring. It's more boring. In 15, more crowded is in the past. 15? Ah, you're talking about this? That club was more crowded. No, crowded is the adjective. Crowded, like excited, interested. But the tense is in past, yes, because of what. But crowded here is an adjective. It is crowded, it will be crowded, it was crowded, and so on. And let me stop sharing this. More comfortable. More colorful and more comfortable. Very good. This game is much more fun than the other one. Ah, good, good. So, this problem is much more harder. So again, aha. Uh -huh. So, I'm legendary. Can we say it is much more harder? Or it's much harder? We cannot say more harder. Just more. Thank you. More serious. He looked even more wonderful. More serious. Better. Perfect. I have more homework to do. Yes. I have more homework to do. It's not superlative or comparative. Just know that. We can say it's because I have more homework to do than you do, something like that. The effect was more serious. So better and earlier, very good. So better is irregular. And so let's go this one and we can end the class. A good run is better. A good run is better than a bad stand. A girl should be More interesting, no, a girl. A girl should be smaller than a man. And the case was... More interesting, very good. This problem, this problem is much more complex than I thought. Yes, much more complex or much more complicated. Both of them, yes. Here, now you can use. Because complex has two. Uh, actually, it's a mono. Syllable adjective, I think it has two syllables. More interesting, yeah, or much more interesting. Yeah, if you want to say very, you can say that. So, thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. I hope you found it useful. That's the end of our class. I'm happy that around 30 people stay with us the whole class, and I hope you found it useful. That is the end of our today's class. If you have any questions, please ask me otherwise. You're good to go. Do we need to add much? If you want. It means like very, really. Why? Why what? She's older than him or she's older than he is. Not he. And our friend says the the choice between the between subject pronouns and object pronoun, yes, depends on the role the pronoun plays. For subject, he's going to the store. I give it to him, so... Ah, oh, you're, you're okay, okay, talking about pronouns, okay. Thank you, thank you, teacher. Thank you again, teacher. I hope to see you in the next Saturday. Have an amazing week. Thank you, YouTube Price. You're doing great, Price. I'm so happy to see you every week here. That's perfect, Price. And others, thank you so much. Master, our teacher is better because titles should be earned. So thanks, teacher. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, Nima. It was a great lesson. Thanks for your help. For your help. Thank you. Thank you very much. So tomorrow you will have, actually, you will have access. I will, I will send the link to see the post, the video on my YouTube channel, this video. And if you have any questions, you can ask me or anything. You can check the website. Make sure to check the website again, englishwithnimofer.com. And check the newsletter. Every Thursday we, have, we will have a new grammar tip. 
make sure to check it out. Free PDFs and for private classes, you can message me and so on. Thank you. Thank you. Have a lovely day. See you all actually uh, next Saturday. So, goodbye.